good and good afternoon to everyone. Uh, today I will introduce you the ASEAN's microbial database, or uh, you can call it AMIDES. Uh, this database uh, is the project uh, that is supported by uh, the ASEAN Science, Technology and Innovation Funds uh, from the cost and the objective of this database, uh, the first one is uh, we want to have a capacity building platform for data management of microbial resources in our sense. And we try to improve the, available, uh, the availability and access and use of microbial information in our sense. So, we can say that AMIBES is a data infrastructure for data-driven science and innovation for our things. And when we start the project, we have the questions. How can we find the microbial diversity data in our things? And how did we get the data? So this is the, the way that we construct the database. We use the data education approach. So we try to combine uh, the data from different data sources. As you can see from this slide, we uh, integrate uh, the, the sequence data from NCBI Bio Projects and NCBI Nucleotide database. And also the, uh, the diversity data from TV and Encyclopedia of Lies, Catalog of Lies and also some data from the literature, the scientific literature from communities. And the last one is very important from the culture collections in ASEAN. And all the data uh, uh, go to the process, uh, the data kissing kins process, and also some uh, groupings and categorizations Store in the database. And this is uh, the map of the cultural collections that contribute their data in the database. <coughs> Currently, there are 22 cultural collections in seven countries in ASEAN. So, you, I think some of you are in, on the map. Right. And this is the mechanism for the cultural collection to share. Uh, the data to AMIBES. We have the tool called iCollect for the uh, for the partner uh, to uh, store that data in this system and then share the data to AMIBES. And uh, we also have the web API to connect to the other. If you can uh, program uh, programming the, the computer programming you can uh, connect to our database to use the data. Now we connect to the ASEAN Center of, uh, for Biodiversity that you may know uh, about this. And this is uh, some uh, number that I think is important for the, the user of this database. We uh, collect uh, the data now. It is uh, more than 30,000 species in, from the 10 countries in ASEAN and from 22 culture collections. Uh, it is about uh, 22,000 stems, and we have uh, more than 10,000 microbiome and a lot of genomes. And uh, yes. And this is the website, the, the, the URL of the website that you can uh, access to the AMIBES. And this slide shows some, uh, uh, the, the summary of this kind of the microorganisms, how many species that we found in our like uh, about nine thousand species for the bacteria and we can uh, see that we have uh, uh, 3,000 species for Cambodia 
the, the, we don't know that Cambodia have cultural collection or not, but we can find some microbial diversity from Cambodia. And in this system, we also uh, include the, uh, the identification tool for the microbiologist. So we have the genes marker that uh, I saw that uh, the most of presentation use the uh, 16S or the ITS or ISU for the identifications. But currently, I think for the profile, <coughs> uh, some general requires the genomes data. So the identifications uh, have shared to use uh, the genome. So we provide the tool for the genome destabilizes and. Uh, you can use a genome for the phylogenetics analysis on these systems. And when we combine the data, uh, how to use the, the data easily, so we uh, provide the data analytics tool and visualization, visualization tool. For example, uh, you can uh, explore the ASEAN micro and see where to find them. So we can see the relationship between the micro and the habitat or the host. You can change uh, the, the right column to be the host. So we can explore. And also, we can explore the data about the micro, micro uh, the interaction between the micro. For example, uh, in this metric, you can see uh, the pairwise between the micro and the intensity of the color uh, determine the abundance or the frequency that we found this pair of micro. And also we can see the co-occurring network. So it means uh, we can uh, find like uh, the co-compositions between the the sample in a specific environment. So this kind of tool, I think, maybe help the researcher to analyze the data. And more than that, uh, because we have uh, a lot of microbial data that we uh, integrate from the NCBI, so I think it's really useful that researcher can search uh, and compare their microbial data with this database. So we provide to microbial search. And again, the, the result can show in the graphics and interactive like this. So this uh, slide can sh uh, show the, uh, this is the input and this is output that uh, uh, get the high similarity at 96%. And for the, this is another example that uh, the ASEAN uh, microbial database uh, can be used for ASEAN. And I show you some analysis from the microbial data that we combine from uh, 1,200 samples from ASEAN bioprojects. So, in, in this slide, I uh, try to cluster the microbial sample and we get the six cluster that have the high similarity together. But when we see where the habitat of this sample origin is, so we, we can see the variations in in the cluster. So so it means that we need some approach, the analysis approach that how to uh, handle the variations in the cluster. So we try to uh, compare the microbial between the habitat. And in, in each habitat, we uh, cluster the sample uh, on the, using the similarity measures. So, and in this slide, show the alpha diversity in each habitat cluster. So you can see from the, the gradients of the ecology from the terrestrial to the uh, aquatics environments. And 
you can see some very, uh, how different is between the yeah. habitat. And if we go uh, into or drill down in each habitat, you can see the diversity and variations from uh, in aquatics environments and semi aquatics is maybe uh, more diverse than the terrestrial environments. And if we analyze the beta diversity, we can observe the species uh, turnover across the habitat carriers and again you can see uh, some uh, wastewater and fresh water and so this is aquatic and semi aquatic environments and this is a terrestrial so I think it's, um, it's the, the result uh, has confirmed the the diversity uh, between the, the gradients of the environments of the ecologies. And when we analyze the, uh, the, the species enrichments and the indicator uh, for each habitat, we can see So you can see uh, some of the cluster, uh, like the, the, the cluster, this cluster is from the water sediment, and this cluster from wastewater, and this cluster from uh, lysosphere. So, and 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 this uh, this, this is a network between the enriched taxons and indicator taxons. So this is a unique very unique uh, micro that enrich in the lysosphere habitat. And in this uh, cluster, you can see the enriched taxons and also some indicator taxons that you need for the wastewater for this cluster. Something like this. So this is information that if, if we analyze, more, I think we can gain more knowledge about the micro in our sense. And this is the another example that we try to pull some customer to see if there are any co-occurrence pattern in the cluster. So we find some the enriched and indicator taxons that are uh, interesting for the soils and for some for the fresh water. So just show you the example that when we have the ASEAN microbial database, there are um, more information that you can explore and you can use for your research. And maybe uh, we can gain insights more for the, our environments how the micro and the you know, microbial community continue to ASEAN's environments. Uh, this is my conclusion. Thank you.